Good morning, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Frustrated to Freedom. I'm Bill Morrow, and I'm here to guide you on the journey which I took over 22 years to get from where I was wandering in the internet, <laughs> yes, wandering, to where I am today in a comfortable, happy situation with a well-established website. And this, my friends, is where I want to get you. All those people who are frustrated with problems, progress, cash flow, future pensions, all of these things, businessmen, businesswomen, all. In fact, uh, a lot of us go through all of these stages. So we're on our journey now. And today is episode uh, 39. And the subject line is ready for change. Are we all ready for change? Are we ever ready for change? This is one of the biggest problems we have with accepting change. The majority of us like to sit in our own little comfortable position and stay there. Feet up on the mantelpiece or when the wife's not looking sort of thing. <laughs> Watch the telly, a beer in your hand, wherever it might be. But... Uh, that's for some. I don't appreciate that. I prefer to be up and in action and doing things. Because if you just sit there, as I told you before, the world will pass you by. Like the number nine bus or whatever it is. It'll simply just carry on without you. You don't want to be in that situation. You want to be on that bus. You want to be in that situation. You want to be prepared and ready. And this, my friends, is exactly what we're doing over this period of time. Now, the song this morning, as you know, I listen to my songs. I listen to my music in the morning. And uh, Stranger in Paradise. That's me. <laughs> we're all strangers at some time or other. When we approach things, we're all strangers. And the whole attitude is, is to be able to change that stranger attitude into investigation, query, trying to find out, looking for more information, inquisitiveness. All of these things prevent you from being a stranger. You then become part of the process of looking for information, looking and offering help in our case. This is what we do. We offer help. So, stranger is something, remember what the Irish saying was? A stranger is a friend you haven't met. There you are. <laughs> so, that wanderer in paradise is just a friend you haven't met yet. Now, as we go along, the whole process repeats and repeats itself. And we get to the stage where things get out of proportion, or tend to. Remember, as children, if someone gave you a lot of money, um, two pence, two pence, today, today wouldn't buy a stamp. <laughs> Go down to the shop and buy some sweets, or whatever it might be. And you went off clutching this furiously in your hand. And you achieved, you got what you wanted, you enjoyed it. And to you, you had a lot of money at that stage. Now, if I gave you two pence, <laughs> you'd probably say, no, thank you, you need it more than I do. It's all in here, my friends. It's all a case of values and looking at the, the, the process at the moment. So if I gave you a uh, thousand pounds, you'd probably say, thank you very much. Where's the next one? Uh, it's all perception, the whole thing. And this is what we have to do. The mindset, you get the mind in the right place. You get the mindset set up. And certainly preparing for the day is the biggest challenge we have. 
this is why I start off at my music, breakfast, music in the morning, and then I'm set up. Of course, having done this, I'm even more set up because I'm talking to you. I'm talking to my friends. I'm talking to you about experiences I've had and how you can avoid having the problems and go straight on and get the situation to benefit you. And this is the whole process. Right, from start on to where we are now, we've gone through the process each time, and that is starting the day with a happy mind. And happy mind is exactly that. It's that happy situation where you've shut out all the negative thoughts and all you've got are positive thoughts. And we should be now at the stage where we can quickly change from negative to positive, from bad to good. And that's exactly what we should be doing. So there is no magic about it. Well, some say, yes, it is magic. Well, the whole body is a magic situation if you look at it. But it's ours and we have to look after it and we have to take care of what goes on in here. And the biggest thing about it is understanding. We understand the process. We understand that we, as individuals, have the power to protect what's in there. So that is exactly what we got to do. So all the time that we're doing these sort of things, we have to make sure that we start off with that correct process. And one of the big things is never be on your own because you can always, as we say, talk to yourself. Well, you're not talking to yourself. You're talking here. You're talking to your inner self and you're telling it. So you can have a conversation with yourself, but don't do it out in the open because they might just come along and lock you up and say, well, you can tell them though, that bloke on the telly there, that bloke on, on the video, he told me. <laughs> I'll let, I'll tell you, yeah. Tell, send them to me. And prepare Live your own life. As I said the other day, just be yourself. And the other main thing is live your own life because it is your life. It belongs to you. So you've got to live it. If you wait for everyone else to tell you what to do, how to do, okay, when we're a teacher is telling us what to do, that's a different matter. We're in the stage of learning. But now, as adults, uh, when do you become an adult? <laughs> uh, not because of what's in here. It's time tells you that. But all the time you are preparing and you're getting better. And that's what I want to do. So prepare the day, prepare for the day with the correct mindset is the answer to what we want to do, the correct mindset.